If you were a business owner, what would be your biggest priority? If earning money firsthand, then you might want to think again. 45% of business owners define customer experience as the highest priority in their nearest plans. There are loads of ways to improve customer experience and get a satisfied audience. One of them is expanding the digital presence of your business. I'm Alex, and today I'll share some obvious and creative ways to make your business more digital friendly. Why did we start talking about customer satisfaction in the first place? Just look at the following stats. It shows top 5 media of communication. As you can see, they have nothing to do with the person-to-person -person communication. Simple conclusion? Those customers who can access a business online and get served quickly and efficiently eventually become loyal. How does an active online presence benefit your business? Well. Since an average adult spends around 7 hours on the web, by popping up online here and there, you will be able to be found easier. As of 2020, a whooping 97% of the users look for businesses on the internet. This way, your active online presence will elevate your brand recognition and introduce your company. Promote your business 24-7. No matter where your target customer is located, they will be able to look you up whenever they need you and reach out to you. Keep up with the competition. Remember, while you are hesitating to start a TikTok channel, your competitors are already uploading their first video. I believe you are a smart marketer and follow your competitors' steps. I know it's time-consuming and tiring, but hey, no competition, no progress. Gain customer trust. See, we live in times when you get dismissed if you can't be found online. 83% of shoppers search for businesses online before visiting a store. Personally, I do it too. Take a chance to bond with the customer before they shake hands with your business. Improve your buyer journey. Some customers need help finding, choosing, or even ordering a product. And these are all different stages of your buyer's journey. If your prospects can reach you online, you will get more chances to close more deals. So. If your business hasn't traveled online yet, we're about to share some ways how to make your business digital. The first thing to do would be to start running social media. Before you start sporadically tweeting for all those years you haven't, let me share one huge tip. Only run those social media accounts your target audience will use. Are your perfect clients in their 20s? Forget about Twitter. Choose Instagram or even better TikTok. Are you a serious business? Maybe Facebook or LinkedIn will be just right. Just remember to fill your account with relevant, high-quality content. Then you will gain followers who actually flock to your page because they are genuinely interested. Be active, consistent, and encourage your audience to interact with your content. Comment, share, and tag to start the word-of-mouth machine. The next online trace your brand wants to leave is blogging. Yes, this is a goldmine for attracting traffic to your website. Oh, you do have a website, I hope. If not yet, check out our video on how to build a website for your business. The link is in the description. Coming back to blogging, uh, why did I call it a goldmine? Because if done right, it can bring visitor after visitor to your website through only one post. This can be done using SEO. Simply work relevant keywords into your texts, optimize your images, and build links. This is a bit of a tacky job, but helps a lot. If you stick to the right SEO routine, you might climb up to the first page of Google search in no time. Remember to try guest blogging, as it might help expand your outreach further. Of course, stuffing your blogs with keywords can make your content look artificial, so always prioritize the quality of the information you post. Email marketing is blooming as never before, with 4.3 billion email users worldwide. That's almost half of the world's population. So. Don't miss out on getting a business email address and leaving it on your website. Just like with the SEO, there is some behind the curtain work. Collect a white mailing list, regularly remove inactive addresses, and segment your list. Ensure your subject lines are catchy and emails have a clear CTA. Another option that can help you is messenger marketing. Earlier in this video, you saw that live chat takes a lead in delivering customer satisfaction compared to other communication channels. Why? Well, 
with a connected chatbot, LiveChat erases your working hours. It just automatically provides help 24-7 and, if needed, gathers contact information for further interactions. Moreover, you provide personalized communication through live chat and build strong customer relationships. Create FAQ section to help your users even while you're sleeping. You can set up chatbots on your Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp pages and expand your digital presence yay wide. You can, of course, use video content. No, you don't need to start shooting YouTube videos straight away. Begin with posting more video content on other platforms. Post reels and stories and run live streams on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Explore TikTok. Attach videos to your blog posts and messengers. Arm your videos with subtitles to provide all sorts of access to your content. That's a wrap, folks. I told you all the essentials. What would you add? Let me know in the comment section. Take care.